What's up guys, Rick Denham here, Holy Moly Outdoors. Welcome back to another episode. I am so excited because today we are turning our fishing weights, banana sinker mooching rigs, into baits. So stay tuned, this one is going to be fun. Alright guys, so like I said, we are turning some mooching weights into baits. And I can't take full credit, I came across the picture idea across the internet from one of the Facebook forums, and I thought it was a great idea that someone put together. So I happen to have accumulated quite a few of these style banana sinker weights over the years. And recently, I was gifted some as well. So I do mooch every once in a while out in there in the time of salmon seasons or link cod fishing, which is what we have going on right now. However, I don't use them as much as I probably should. So I have a lot to spare. And that got me thinking of what can I do with these. Now, fast forward with coming across that picture, I saw the perfect opportunity to take these weights and make baits out of them. So let me show you what we're going to be making and how easy this is to do. This is so easy and simple I cannot believe I didn't think about something like this earlier on in the fishing world. So a mooching sinker like this dependent on the weight and time obviously when it was purchased. Lead has gone up in price quite a bit but relatively a sinker about four ounces like this is going to be around a dollar twenty. That in itself is pretty much a full lure. Now, how does that all work out? Well, you need a couple small components outside of the sinker, and you can make something like this. Lincod, bottom fish in particular aren't super picky about what you put down there. It needs to resemble a meal of some sort. Now you can go buy eight and ten dollar fancy jigs and I won't name any brands but that hurts the wallet when you snag and lose a hundred dollars worth of gear in a short period of time. Now since we all may have some of these sinkers lying around this is a way to save a lot of money and make some really good looking stuff. So let's go through the components here, showcase how easy this is to set up and put together. So let's go over to the table. I'll showcase all the stuff line out and make it really easy to put this together. All right, everybody. So we are looking in front of us of four of these squid weight rigs that I've put together. And it's such a simple component process and again most of you guys will already have all this stuff and not have to spend a penny out there but however if you wanted to go purchase these at the store it's very very minimal on costs what you will need is some sort of fishing weight of the banana sinker style this one's a three and a half ounce they literally range from a half an ounce to like 10 12 ounces you could even do this for halibut if you wanted so this is really cool I'm just taking a weight like this some sort of squid skirt this one's glow in the dark a curly tail grub also glow in the dark but doesn't have to be and then you're gonna want some kind of hook and I got some 6 aught siwash from Mustad here that work perfect for that three and a half size and that is really it so let's showcase how this all goes together because at the end of the day when you're able to put something together that looks as good as this does that is going to get absolutely bit by a big fish and if you happen to lose one okay you might be out two and a half dollars as opposed to eight to ten dollars a jig 
So that's why I found this such a really neat money saving tackle deal. So we got our weight, we got our squid, and the first step you need to do, because most of these squids have a really narrow snout, I cut that snout a little bit wider. Now you have your weight and there's two options you can do with this weight. You can make your lure as is. Don't touch the weight at all. Leave it plain lead. Fish really don't care. Second thing you can do is put some sort of reflective attractor tape on it. This happens to be Hypervis. I really like this stuff. That's what I have on this one here. To give it just a little bit of flash as this goes through the water and jigging up and down. Bait fish profile, scale, representation, all those different things. So totally preference base and I'll ultimately add some onto this. The next thing you're going to do is there is a swivel on the end of one and a barrel, sorry, barrel swivel on one end, bead chain swivel on the other. You're going to want to cut off the barrel swivel but not cut the brass wire in the lead jig itself. So all we did there was cut off that swivel which leaves the end still intact. You then next will take the bead chain in to the squid that you've already cut the hole with You're going to thread that down over the top of the bead chain. Make sure all the legs get out. You're going to line this up because essentially the weight splits right in between the two eyes perfectly. And it just hangs like that. Now you'll grab your Siwash hook. Okay, sidewash hook, curly tail grub, and what you can do is rig the grub two ways. You can rig it where the hook point comes out the same direction as the curly tail. I happen to like to rotate it around the other way so the hook is going the opposite direction that the tail spins. I feel like that doesn't foul up as much onto the hook which means that you're getting better action consistently so just like that I go about halfway down pop it out throw it up it's just like threading a bass worm and boom now this is an offset hook, which I think ultimately in the long run really helps in your favor if you do hook a fish. But there you go. Now, just have to pinch the barb down because in Washington State, any kind of saltwater fishing is barbless. And then you're going to go get your jig. And what I have found is that if you rig it with the hook point facing down this is going to be more apt to snag up so you flip your jig to where your hook point is riding up find that connection there Siwash is now on and just like this we will pinch down Our side wash. And in less than a minute, try and get the right angle there, you have a glow in the dark Lincod catching rig.
three and a half ounces here it's perfect for a normal tide but like I said you can go um, here's a four ouncer and here's you know five just really is all preference and what's also neat about these mooching leads is you can customize them however you want if you wanted these glow in the dark to be glow in the dark glow on glow just like that you can easily pull off a hoochie put a different color one on you know same thing with the grub tail if that gets bitten off thread a different color on there you go um, but I like to add that little bit of hypervis tape to the belly area to give a little bit more attraction but you don't even have to go that far you can get some of these that are colored already and so a glow-in-the-dark squid with a red body and a black and blue tail has a lot of contrast so really is a neat way to make your own creations at a very minimal cost and you're essentially recycling your gear into a different area of fishing so I'm really excited to try this out here in the coming week or so um, to get out on Lincod and uh, yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed this and if you have any other DIY ways to recycle stuff into lures comment below would love to hear it so thanks so much everybody really appreciate you being here tonight hope you enjoyed this and we'll catch you on the water real soon take care and as always fish on